come to Bar Solis in RC is the most beautiful bar in Danzhou. They have liquor and soft drink, and the view here is so amazing. I had already come here for two years, and look, <gasps> there's a boy. It's gonna fall down. He's blind. Let's help him. Today's story is about a healthy boy how he become a blind. And people love story, please subscribe to my YouTube, follow my Facebook and Instagram. You will know more about my story. One day, I went to buy salads in RC. I had a drink with my friends, and I saw a boy with a sunglasses in the midnight. I'm so curious, so I went to him and had some chit chat with him. And he told me a story about how he became a blind. Few years ago, Wen fell in love with a beautiful blind girl. They were best friends. The girl's name is Jessie. They always had breakfast together. They hang out together. Do everything together. Surely they become a couple. Jessie had bad temper. She always got angry easily. Her world had full of hatred and contempt. Wen thought when she could see the world, maybe she could be something different. Few weeks later, Jessie got a big surgery. After recovery, she finally could see the world. She was softened into tears. When Wen heard Jesse's voice, he was so excited and ran next to Jesse and asked her, "Would you marry me?" Suddenly, Jesse got shocked and said, "Ah,、uh, I'm sorry, my eyes just recovered. It's difficult for me to take care of a blind." Wen answered that, "That's okay. I can totally understand. Just promise me you can take good care of my eyes." Oh my God! I can't believe it. Wen gave Jesse his eyes. The story is purely fictional. Any resemblance to actual individual or event are coincidental. There's no more story and stuff from here. What's the difference if you have gratitude? It reminds me a story between Andy Lau and Di Hee Chung. Before being successful, Andy Lau ran up a sea of debt. Because of poor investment choices, the debt was too huge to reform. So his friend traded money from everywhere to help Andy Lau overcoming the difficulty. After that, Andy Lau became a successful company owner. One day, Andy Lau found that Dicky Chong had a great talent and outstanding performance. Andy Lau reached out to Dicky Chong to sign him up. Dicky Chong said to Andy Lau, "Okay, but..." I'm almost bankrupt. Can you help me with mortgage? Anyone agree with a hesitate? Just get him some words. Teach people what you learn. Give people what you earn. Head it forward. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe my YouTube. And